All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the last part of the Android, the Lab Coat 21 uh, guide. We're just going to be talking really briefly about um, our, her assists uh, and kind of like her team building as well. So we'll start here uh, and then we'll move to the character select screen afterwards to kind of give you guys my thoughts on, you know, positioning, uh, who she goes well with and whatnot. And yeah, that's where we're going to go from there. So, um... First, let's talk about these assists. A assist. Mm -mm. 20 frames start off. It has 65 frames of hit stun, which is the exact same as uh, Android 21's uh, A assist, the Majin 21's A assist. So pretty standard hit stun. Um, it is also, as you can see here, it is plus 40 on block, so 40 frames of block stun. It is also key blast invulnerable. Uh, and so we will get our 21 5 S's here. Completely uh, nullifies key blast, goes about half screen. Um, very, very similar. Very, very similar to Gogeta, um, Red Gogeta's B assist. Very, very similar assist. Um, the hit stun can be a little awkward for some characters, so you do want to make sure that you're practicing. Uh, making sure that you know the extensions off of it, especially if you're like doing knockdown into it. Um, it can be a little bit awkward for some characters. Thankfully, um, the, this, this character... Pretty standard, right? It ends right in front of her. Uh, I believe you can even wait for it to hit. Yeah, you can call it close smash, which is really nice. If, if you're someone that's going to play double 21, it's really nice to have an assist that you can call after the smash animation and still continue the combo whatever way that you want uh, and whatnot. So, very pretty good assist. Uh, definitely really good against key blasters as well. So, um, yeah, really, really standard good assist for this season of the game. Uh, her B assist, you've probably seen at this point, uh, it's a barrier. It's the same uh, 10, 10 frame and vulnerable uh, barrier that, you know, uh, 18 has, uh, that 17 is 10 frame startup as well. Um, not really much difference at all. It's pretty much the same exact assist as, uh, as 18. The only difference I would say is that it's a tiny bit bigger because 21 is a, just a bigger character uh, than 18. <clears throat> but uh, for all intents and purposes, it is uh, it is a barrier. <laughs> you're, if you like barriers, then you like barriers, and you're gonna play a barrier. So don't really have much to say about that. Her C assist is uh, a standard C beam. Actually, it looks a little wonky because the beam is so thin, but it is a standard uh, beam C. It's plus 30 on block. Uh, it you know I think it gets a little bit more the further you are away. Oh okay, I don't know. I guess sometimes it's just 31. Yeah, sometimes it's 31, sometimes it's 30. Don't really know what determines that, but 30 frame assist, 34 frames to come out. And of course, on hit, uh, C assist, auto, you know, the combo, he knocks them back down into you. So you have plenty of time to run up and do whatever you want to do. Um, and yeah, also good for, you know, extending those those enders for end of combo DRs and whatnot, because she does stay uh, relatively close to ground level, so you don't have to worry about them falling out as much. So yeah. Her assists are, are pretty solid, I would say. Um, not broken, in my opinion. Like, that's the one part of the character that I think is uh, a little bit, uh, like, like not overly broken, is that her assists uh, seem very standard. Uh, but standard is good, honestly. You can't really go wrong with a fast 40 blocks and assist. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I got to say about her assists. Now, let's talk about the juicy stuff. Because I'm going to get a lot of, uh, I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions from a lot of people uh, asking, mm -mm, what, do, uh, <clears throat> what, what do I play her with, right? Uh, and so like the, the most common thing for me is whenever I see this character, I'm seeing characters that are, it, it, she's very similar to like these characters, right? Um, and I will actually tap in so I can actually see so right. So it, it, she's very similar uh, style to Bardock and also Kefla, who I am having trouble finding. Oh, there she is. Um, right. And so she, she's very, very similar to Bardock and Kefla in that uh, they have very strong lariats. You know, Kefla in particular has, you know, an anti-projectile lariat. So does 21. They both go through key blasts. Uh, and so like the same, the same style of characters that work well 
with uh with kefla like honestly like almost every partner for kefla is going to go well with uh lab lab coat um a at least in my opinion especially uh you know keflas love to run dp assist and barrier assist i think that 21 uh is a character or lab coat is a character that not only has a barrier assist but also goes very well with barriers so if you're someone that likes to play waifus or whatever whatever you guys call them you want to pick you know 21 and 18 together i think that barrier is definitely still a really good option for her especially because she has the level one command grab that steals your damage uh, and stuff like that and so if they try to press into it of course it's already invulnerable uh, on its own but you also get the visual obscurity aspect where they can't really see what's going on um you also have you know multi-hit normals that you can confirm off of uh it covers uh <clears throat> you can you can call it against the sis and then like you know yolo lariat from full screen there's like a lot of different stuff that that get enabled by it but yeah so i i think that she can, she's a character that can go very well with dp assists um but mostly um you you're you you want characters that cover her in neutral so she she is similar to 18 uh in a sense so like when i compare kefla and i compare 21 the main difference that i noticed is that kefla has an easier time covering diagonals uh so like if you're full screen and your opponent is at jump height kefla deals better with that situation because she has m ball in the super dash right uh or just m ball in general just to check people that are jumping from full screen uh lab coat doesn't really have anything that covers that 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 angle from full screen and so you might consider picking an assist that is going to cover for it very well whether that is a tracking assist if you want to pick like baby uh if you want to pick like baby b right if you want to pick baby b that gives her a tracking assist in neutral to lock people down uh if you want to pick like a frieza uh which you know a pillar style assist that that can jail to the ground as well and kind of just get her going uh, because once she wins neutral, it's wraps. She she's gonna mix you for free, and so all you really really need to do is focus on enabling her in neutral so that she can get that hit. And so like Krillin is also rocks are very strong for her. Um, like I was talking about DP, I'm sure she'd be really good with with UI uh, for a more defensive end. Of course, this doesn't cover full screen like I was talking about before, but uh, still really good at jailing opponents to the ground and getting her mix going. I'm sure she's gonna go fine with this guy because everyone goes fine with this guy. You know the standard uh you know broken ass assist that we're gonna see a ton i'm sure she's fantastic with this assist i promise promise you she's really good with this assist <laughs> because who's not good with this assist but um right now i'm biasing towards uh characters that that offer anti-air because to me that uh uh anti-air anti-air and neutral she doesn't have trouble anti-airing people whenever whenever they're close to her because uh, of course her 214h is absolutely broken uh, and stuff like that but she does have trouble locking people down uh from jump height and full screen so i would look for characters that cover that majin buu c uh it would be another really good assist that does that however i don't think she has any assist that restands so unfortunately their synergy is not the best but you guys kind of get what i'm going for here characters that enable her in neutral uh so like the standard assists are also going to work like the base vegeta is going to be really good base vegeta Base Vegeta, Lab Code 21 is going to be insane. I think absolutely crazy shell. Uh, there's also some uh, other crazy synergies like we saw at the battle hour. They picked Broly uh, and they did L command grab and they did special tag. And she gets a combo off of that. She can do EX stomp after Broly lands it. So if Broly does L command grab and you do special tag, you can follow up with EX stomp for a full combo. You take a ton of damage off of that, uh, which is really good. So that's a different type of synergy uh, that I think goes well with her. Um... And yeah, so so characters that that uh, that also maximize her um, her enders as well in terms of combos because you know she does have some routes that can eat up hit stun decay a ton uh, and sometimes you don't always want to spend the vanish so that's why I was talking about like baby and stuff like that characters that bring you to the ground level so you can get that grounded dr into the stomp into the you know the maximum cash out combos I think that type of stuff is is really good for her as well but mostly I would say just stick to the characters that either uh you know enable her in neutral uh at least from an anti-air standpoint uh oh, because like i said mi mixing mixing is not going to be a problem you can mix with high block stun low block stun the tick grabs with like characters like this like right if you pick trunks a if you pick trunks a and you like uh 21 command grab behind it lab go command grab behind it so cheap you like can't see um, and that's what I was talking about like Frieza earlier too, like you, you just can't really see what the hell is going on So how can you possibly defend if you can't see right? <laughs> very very important um, And I'm sure there's some a lot of other synergies in here as well um, 
you to look for characters that that uh enable lariat assist as well right so because you're going to be pressing that in neutral a decent amount you're going to be pressing one of those two three six moves into an assist so take it to training mode uh, and, and look at what characters like, you know, give you the maximum block stun off of that approach because sometimes assists have trouble keeping up. Sometimes they don't layer the right way. Um, and so I think that is something that is really important. And uh, outside of that, the standard assists, all the, all the broken ass assists that people are running in current season are going to be really good. Uh, I'm sure she's insane with 17. Uh, if you want to play like a modified Yasha team, right? Right, if you want to play a modified Yasha team, replace Gogeta Blue because they kind of fulfill the same function. They're like that point character that gets in and gets your offense going, right? Um, and she also builds a good amount of meter too. She doesn't build as much, she doesn't build as much as Gogeta 4, but she does build a good amount of meter, especially if you're able to get the maximum JS's in your combo uh, into the knockdown and everything. She gets a stomp extension, so she can build meter for sure. Uh, and man, 17 assists is absolutely insane with her, bro, because you get to call, you get to do a string and you can call 17 assists and you can grab them while the barrier is out. And if they, if you don't grab them and they end up taking the, the blast and they get mixed, uh, and, and stuff like that, insane. She doesn't have to rely on DR, uh, like a Gogeta 4 would have to. Uh, they don't really do like 2 and 4 S into 17 assists all that often for what I see. So I think it'll definitely be better for her, especially because... You're okay with getting straight hits, right? You're you're okay with getting straight hits with this character because they can convert into the uh, the uh, the command grab that drains their damage. So even if you don't kill them, you can cripple them for the rest of the game. Um, and I think that is really really strong. I think that is that is definitely something to consider. Um, and yeah, so so I would definitely uh, I, I would definitely consider picking her with uh, with some characters that have good uh, level three Oki off of DHC as well because. <clears throat> her her level three Oki herself is not the greatest. Uh, it's only 28 frames and it's a pretty set distance. It's pretty far away, so you pretty much only get a safe jump. But if you pick a character that has really strong level three Oki, pick a character that has really strong level three Oki behind her, um, then suddenly all those those stray command grabs turn into 5k damage plus level three 50 50, right? All of those straight hits, she's gonna build the meter. She has a nice DHC to go into. She has high damage super if you land into level one. Uh, and and she can compensate uh, by, you know, following up with a character that has strong mix. You're just gonna two touch people all the time. You're just always, always, always gonna two touch them. Um, and so like, yeah, uh, contrary, contrary to, you know, people are memeing about running double 21. I actually do think it is a very, very good. Um, I, I think it's a good shell. I honestly, I think it is a very good shell. I think they complement each other's combos. Um, I think they complement each other's neutral. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think that, uh, you know, Majin 21 is a little bit better for lab coat than vice versa. Uh, but you can't go wrong. I don't think you can go wrong. You can pick pretty much any any third character with this. Uh, you could also... I think she's primarily going to be a point character, by the way, guys. I, I guess I didn't say that yet. I think she's pretty much primarily going to be a point character um, because she has really, really strong Lariat uh, and people don't have meter to deal with her stuff early on in the game, right? Uh, and so, like, <laughs> picking her point and then, you know, picking picking people around her is going to be really strong. You can pick any, pretty much any third with this. You can pick 21 anchor and then pick another mid. Um, and yeah, honestly, like there, there's a lot to consider with the character. There's a lot of the stuff that's going to be really good with her. I definitely recommend you you take it to the lab and make sure that your characters that you play now can, you know, mix with their assist or get their extensions that they want to. She has special tag flexibility as well. So that enables a lot of characters. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, just a really good rushdown character that can go with a lot of characters. Uh, like I said, it's very similar to Kefla uh, in that regard. So, um, yeah, that is that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think this character is super, super strong, and I'm very much looking forward to making content uh, with the character uh, playing a lot of Double 21. I am currently, uh, this is what I'm, I'm looking at. I'm looking at this team. Uh, and I think this would be a very, very fun team for people to watch, uh, at least for the first few weeks of the game. Because after the first few weeks, I'm sure you guys are going to be sick and tired of the character and not want to see her anymore. Because that's what happens with every good character. But <laughs> I'm going to play this and I'm going to release combo videos and stuff like that with synergies with my team because they have a lot of cool stuff together. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, be on the lookout, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the guide. Like I said before, leave 
a like, a comment. Please subscribe to the channel. I just got to YouTube partner, so I'm trying to maximize now. I'm trying to, you know, play the algorithm as much as I can and do as much as I possibly can to bring good content and good guides for you guys. Go out there and be the best lab coat you can be. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.